If you have a sprinkler line stuck on or you need to work on one of your sprinkler valves, you're going to need to turn your water off to your sprinkler system. In this video, we're going to talk about the shutoff valve. Along with your home dwellers, landlords, and property managers, this may be the most important video in this series for you. Stick around to the end of this short video to get your free helpful download that can make your life a lot easier regarding sprinkler system emergencies and another free download to help you identify the different components with the proper terminologies on your properties. Frank Tiger said, be a good listener. Your ears will never get you in trouble. Anatomy 101 of a sprinkler system, lesson two, the sprinkler system shutoff valve. In the last lesson, we talked about the water meter. The next item in line should be a shutoff valve to the system itself. When a sprinkler valve goes bad or a pipe breaks, there may not be a dedicated shutoff valve to the sprinkler system, so the shutoff at the meter has to be shut off until a sprinkler repairman can come fix the problem. I've experienced house and after turning off the timer in vain, unplugs the timer and starts disconnecting wires at the timer and or at the valves, all the while the water continues to flood the area. The shutoff valve is usually in the ground and unfortunately in a vertical sleeve made from a two to three inch drain pipe too narrow for your hand to fit into. Hello! The openings are rarely covered so the drain pipe fills with dirt, rock, bark, and critters making it difficult or impossible to access the valve. I've even seen shutoff valves buried as much as two feet down without any enclosure around it at all. What? How is anyone supposed to even know where it is? The old shutoffs are normally brass gate valves. Gate valves are the type of valves that have the round handles that you spin clockwise to shut off. They tend to rust out, leak, and freeze up making them useless when needed. The recommended valve for this job is a PVC ball valve if it's not directly exposed to the sun. It won't rust or leak and rarely freezes up. The way it's designed, it just turns a quarter turn to turn it on and off. It's quick and easy. The best way to contain this valve when it's below ground is with a PVC valve box with an included lid. Be sure to keep the top of the box an inch or two above the soil level to avoid accidental burial and loss. Keep things off of it, like your favorite garden gnome, so the valve box doesn't disappear. If the shutoff valve needs to be above ground and exposed to the sun, then it may be a good idea to install a brass valve and copper piping. You may have a shutoff valve already in the form of a backflow device. I'll go more in detail about backflow devices in another video, but suffice to say, if you have a backflow device, it will look like one of these that you see in this photo, and it needs to be turned off in a certain manner. Look for the flow area imprinted on the backflow device here. Once you see the flow direction, then know that the correct shutoff valve to shut off the system is in the downflow valve. If it won't turn, don't force it. You might break it. Spray a penetrating oil on it and let it sit for a bit. Then try it again. If it still won't turn, then it's time to shut off your property water and call a professional to address it.
customers. If you're managing homes or plexes, put this shutoff valve on your to-do list. Things to introduce your tenants to when they are getting the tour. It could save you a pile of money and bottle full of headache. Click up in the top right corner of the screen now to get your free emergency procedure download that you should have and give to your every tenant so they can follow step-by-step -step instructions to turn off their system when a valve is stuck on or a pipe breaks. In summary, the shutoff valve is the most valuable and important component on the sprinkler system since it has the power to stop a potential disaster. Make sure you know where yours is on your every property. Document the location, keep it accessible, and make sure the occupants know where it is and how to turn it off. Hey, I just happen to have a free download that can help you with that. This is the one I told you about at the beginning of this video. So just click here or down below to click it and begin making your life a lot easier. Always remember, water taken in moderation cannot hurt anybody. Mark Twain. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If so, please like it, share it, and subscribe to this channel to stay up to date with all these helpful videos and downloads. If you missed the first two videos in this fun series, click here or down below. Click here for the next fun installment of the Anatomy 101 of a Sprinkler System series called The Sprinkler Valve, where I teach you what exactly a sprinkler valve really is, where it is, what it does, and some how-tos that you need to know along with a new free download I'll include.